I just cannot stop laughing. Why is that? Well after years of me telling that shit for Brains Chameleon, that he needs to stop wasting money, and start saving some he finally listened. Well that is good advice, what is so funny about that? Well he decided to invest with Madov. Lots of people invested with Madov. Yes, but Chameleon is the only one stupid enough to do so after Madoff got arrested. Oh my god, that is beyond dumb even for Chameleon. Yes, he said he saw Madoff's picture in the newspaper, and figured that, since Madoff is in the paper then he must be good at what he does. I knew that idiot would buy anything from anybody he saw on TV, or in the newspaper but this is just fucking ridiculous. Yes this makes the time, that he bought Carlton Sheets real estate course off of an infomercial and the next day sat in 60,000 dollars on real estate in Detroit and ended up losing his ass. Well there is good reason that he has to work 130 hours a week. There are 12 year olds who work in sweatshops in Indonesia that have a better standard of living than he does. He goes through money faster than you go through the trash when you go dumpster diving on garbage day. His loan shark must have a tattoo with chameleon's picture on it. He is the only person in the world who makes six figures and has a seven inch black and white television. He doesn't have that TV anymore, he had to put it up as collateral when he needed to borrow five bucks to buy a Subway sandwich. There are probably fourth graders with better credit than Chameleon. Forget credit, I had more money in fourth grade than Chameleon does now. Yes and you still have almost all of it. I still have my lunch tickets from fourth grade, it's always nice to stop by the old school for a free meal. You would walk through Harlem with a Klansman hat on if it meant you could get a free meal. No there is no way I would do that, unless of course you are extending an offer, then it would depend on the meal being offered, for example if the meal was a gigantic prime rib then I would simply invest in a few pieces of fried chicken, so that when I was being chased I would just hurl the fried chicken across the street and get away scot-free as they fought to the death over a few scraps, how do you think I got away when I stole these Jordans? from somebody in Rucker Park, wow that is amazing, I don't think there is another person alive who has ever stepped on a black man's sneakers and lived, let alone stole the sneakers, it happens about as often as an Irishman tells a bartender no thank you, I have had enough to drink, what's next a Puerto Rican will treat his wife with respect, perhaps an Asian driver will use a turn signal, we will have a Dominican valedictorian before that happens. Oh come on, now you are going overboard. Yes my mistake I will be able to take the train to Mars before that happens. Speaking of things that will never happen how about a black man going out with a black woman? That will happen before a black man pays child support. Black men pay child support, they just get the money from their 400 pound white girlfriend. Well it sure as shit would not be from working. You could search the entire IRS database, and I bet you there would not be one W-2 form filed with the last name of Williams or Jackson, unless it is from a musician or a professional athlete. I will see a Jew tip before that happens. That is almost as unrealistic as a Long Island father giving his approval for his daughter to marry a black man. I'm in a rush. They are making me take sensitivity training at work. They say I need to learn how to stop treating people as stereotypes. What a bunch of nonsense. I'm always sensitive to others.